Hello Blender users, this is Samuel Bernou to present you the Node Minimap add-on I worked on with Christophe Seu, and we hope this helps you navigate without being lost in the sea of nodes. To better demonstrate the Minimap, I'll use this gorgeous file by Erindale, which is also a demo blend file you can find on the Blender websites. I start the Minimap here. The first time you launch the add-on, it will be enabled by default, and uh, you can tweak the size here and to match the size you want. Also, you can click by default, it's on middle click, but you can change this in the preference. Um, for example, you can switch to left mouse. You have the same tweak here, uh, you can find here. Here you can change the background color and alpha. Also, you can change the outline color and alpha, same. And um, let's go for bluish thing. One thing you can notice is that here there is a nested frame and the nodes inside the frame are not displayed and this is related to the nested level. You can change to simplify the minimap. Uh, so here if I put to 2, uh, you can see that those nodes are displayed. Also you can change the position of the minimap if you prefer to have it on the top instead of the bottom. You can change um, the height ratio. Uh, the minimum maximum size in pixel, uh, which is clamped because uh, if you you can see that if I change the size of the window is uh, relative to this window. Also, a little tips about this: if you want a fixed size on every editor, you just have to put a fixed value. If I change this, uh, I have a fixed pixel value. It's also interesting to navigate from the minimap when you are switching node tree or switching material. For example, here I'm going to the compositor node tree and we can see that uh, we are completely off canvas. So this way I can just click here and go back quickly to my nodes. When you adjust your nodes, the canvas will always adjust so you can see the whole node tree. Uh, it's just ignore the empty frames and the reroute nodes. Also note that the minimap shows the selected node and the active one. So that's about everything. We hope that the minimap can help you navigate across a huge node tree like this one. You can grab the thing on the Blender Market, link in the description. See you guys for the next video.